Well, good morning, good evening, or good afternoon, wherever you may be in the world. And I say that because we're a global company all over the world. And we're more than that, we're a global family. And I love what we have because I'm so privileged to be with you tonight to share something so special because we become like those we associate with and all you beautiful people on the line, how wonderful it is to be with you all and talk about you become like those or what you associate with. Today, I'm gonna to go more into the, to the STEM Enhance and the AFA because there's something energetically here that's very special as well, that is just wonderful to consume and, and have in our bodies. Now, over the years, a lot of people ask me, well, can I just take chlorella or spirulina? And I said, yeah, absolutely can. Chlorella and spirulina are phenomenal products, but the AFA that grows wild in Klamath Lake, nutritionally and energetically, is just off the charts and it's very different. So today, let me explain more about AFA and why it's so different. AFA grows wild in a wild volcanic spring-fed lake in Oregon called Klamath Lake. It's a very high altitude lake. And because it's so very high altitude, every winter the lake freezes. And in the spring, when the ice melts, it's the survival of the strongest and the fittest. And so it's a true wild food. And bugs and insects do not attack wild foods the way they do cultivated foods. And so when we eat wild foods, they're very strengthening to us because we are what we eat. And it's a superfood. You've heard of Hippocrates. He's the father of medicine. He said, let food be your medicine and medicine be your food. So let me go back in time a little bit, to talk more about food and talk about how algae is Earth's first food. And then we'll come back to why AFA is the Rolls Royce of all algae in the world because it's so powerful and so off the chart compared to anything else. So if we go back in time a bit, when life began on Earth, the first life forms were bacteria and then algae. Now, as I'm talking now, just remember, plants entrain their qualities in you, a bit like you become like those you associate with. And so when life began, the first life forms were bacteria and then algae. When life began in the world, there was no ozone layer. All the radiation came flying in and the algaes made properties to protect themselves against radiation. Remember, plants entrain their qualities in you. And then algaes evolved into the grasses and the trees and everything higher up in our food chain. Every step you go up in the food chain, you lose a part of the power. So when you go to the base, you go to the pure power. You cannot get any closer to the base in algae. Algae is properties of an animal, of a plant and a bacteria all three kingdoms. So nutritionally and energetically, it's very independent and very complete. It's got a proteinaceous cell wall like an animal. It's got chlorophyll like a plant, but it shares information like bacteria. So over the millennium and meteors and ice ages and all the earth changes since life began on earth, whenever algae has been in trouble, because it's part bacteria, it shares information. It can send information that goes all around the world, I'm in trouble. And what do I need to survive? And it gets back what it needs to survive. In the same way, the antibiotic resistant bacteria has learned to resist antibiotics. And so in its DNA, it's full of all this innate intelligence in Earth. Algae is the foundation of life. It's the immune system of our planet. And what's good for the macrocosm is good for the microcosm. And it's got so many properties that we need today because right now we need help with our foundation. And algae is the most foundational food in this world. It produces between 80 to 90% of the oxygen we breathe. And it is just so special. So fast forward to today. Today, we have this unique, one of a kind algae, only available in the quantity and purity in Klamath Lake in Oregon. And this algae, again, we're all a, a product of our environment. And the environment where it grows is so pure, so pristine and so special. So let me explain a little bit more about that. About 20 miles north of Klamath Lake is the world famous Crater Lake. Crater Lake is an old volcano that filled up with water from underground springs. And it's meant to be some of the most pure water in the whole world. 
and 90% of the water source at Klamath Lake is the same water source as Crater Lake. There's about 17 rivers and streams that feed Klamath Lake, and if you go to the heads and source of all those rivers and streams, they come all googling out of the ground through these same underground springs, and they are so pure they're known as the rivers of light. Now Klamath Lake has got the highest population of American bald eagles outside of Alaska. American bald eagles are very sensitive to pollution. And so it's another indicator how pure and vital the environment is. Now, 7,000 years ago, Crater Lake was known as Mount Mazama. It was one of the largest volcanic eruptions in history in North America. And billions of tons of vaporized ash went all into Klamath Lake and all the surrounding volcanic mountains that surround Klamath Lake. Now we are from the earth and we need all the nutrients and trace elements from the earth to be healthy. The highest source of those in the whole world is volcanic rock and volcanic ash. And that's what feeds the algae. So whenever the snow melts or it rains, it's like a mineral funnel of all these thousands of miles of volcanic mountains surrounding the lake, all funneling into the lake water. So there's 60 times more of every nutrient and every mineral and every trace element in the lake water than the algae could possibly ever use. And so it really is fabulous. Now, spirulina cruella, it's man-made in ponds and they add the nutrients like a recipe and it's not wild and it's fabulous, but it's just very, very different nutritionally and energetically. Now, every winter, again, the lake freezes, most of the algae dies, becomes part of the sediment on the bottom of the lake. And even if no new nutrients went into the lake water, one inch of the sediment on the bottom is like a nutritious soup. And it's so nutritious, one inch could feed the algae for the next 60 years. And there's 40 feet of this sediment. The concentration of nutrients in this lake, it's just off the chart. And that's why the algae becomes off the chart. And in addition to that, the algae has got like a little gas vacuole in it. When it wants even more gas, or sorry, when it wants even more nutrients, it can let out a bit of gas, it dives down to the bottom like a submarine, hangs out in this nutritious soup of all the sediment. Then when it wants some more sunlight, a rate itself comes up just underneath the lake surface and it traps sunlight. When you look at it through a microscope, you can see all the trapped sunlight in it. When you're eating it, you're eating light. Now, spirulina and chlorella in themselves do not allow your body to release stem cells. The AFA algae does do that. It blocks the, the glue that sticks your stem cells to the bone marrow called L-selectin and allows many millions more stem cells into your bloodstream. And chlorella and spirulina in themselves just do not do that. Now, when the algae starts to grow in the summertime, it really grows at a massive rate. I'm told it can double anywhere from every four hours to every day. Now, the lake is about 200 square miles. It's over 30 feet uh, sorry, 30 miles long, it's two to five miles wide, and, and it's huge, it's like an ocean, and we're like a little land harvesting on the lake. But for example, if you harvest all the algae out of the lake in the morning, then later in the day, it's all grown back again. It's an ecosystem, it's a gift from God. The more you harvest it, the more it grows, and the more we have for the whole world, because the world really needs, needs this right now, because they need their foundation. And so energetically, nutritionally, not only is algae the immune system of the planet, many years ago, because I've been working with the AFL, a algae for now over 30 years, the Royal Victoria Hospital in Montreal did a study, and they found within two hours of taking the algae, 60% of the natural killer cells migrated out of the bloodstream into the tissue where they needed to run after viruses, bacteria, and cancer. And so we have something here that not only activates stem cells, it activates your immune system, it's an immune uh, modulator. Uh, it helps your body go on immune surveillance. And we all need that right now as well. And, and it's got trace elements of everything all concentrated because it does get even better because the stem enhance is an extract or concentrate of the algae of all the beneficial components of the algae. And all together, it just is a turbocharged concentrate because when I started working with the whole algae, I actually got about 20,000 people involved on the whole algae. And then when I heard about STEM Enhance, I put the word out and it turned into over 100,000 people around the whole world because of the results that people often see by taking the algae and by the activation of their own stem cells. And because stem cells are the foundation of life and 
arguably stem cells are the greatest health discovery of our lifetime because stem cells, it's different to vitamins because stem cells make new fresh healthy cells, new fresh healthy tissues, new fresh healthy organs and helps to regenerate the function of our whole body. Because another way of looking at disease, I'm not making any claims of our product. A lot of disease you could say is, is a cellular loss, tissue loss, function loss. And so if you've lost cells, tissues and function, say as of your pancreas, your pancreas doesn't make insulin. And so then you may get, we'll label it diabetes. If you lost cells, tissues and function of your eye, you may get macular degeneration. Those cells are degenerating. Well, what renews your cells, tissues and function of every cell, every organ and every tissue? It's your stem cells. And so what we have here, it's absolutely phenomenal. It is such a blessing. And I'm so honored to be a part of this. And I just want to thank you all from all over the world to be on this webinar today. Have a blessed week, everyone. Bye for now.